Hello my loves, welcome back. How are we all doing this week? I know it has been really, really hot in the UK, like actually not that hot in Glasgow, but definitely warmer than usual. And we finally had a little bit of a summer, you know, a couple of days here and there. But wherever you are, if you're down south or wherever you are watching, hopefully you are coping with the heat and you're not finding it too bad. I know my sister said London is boiling. She said it's like 35 degrees this weekend or around about that. So hopefully we're all managing to stay cool. It really isn't that warm up here anymore. I still, the air still feels warm, but it's not actually sunny. So anyway, this week's video, it is a Zara sale haul. It's been a wee while. And to be honest, I kind of missed the sale a wee bit. I, yeah, I just didn't realize it started. And then I thought, okay, I'll go and see. There was a couple of pieces that I had remembered about. Didn't manage to be as successful, but I'll show you what I picked out. Cause I did actually find a few wee bits and bobs like in the like further reduction sale or whatever, when, you know, when they start dropping the price even more and you actually can get some really good deals. So that is today's video. I will just get started. So this first wee piece I know I think went pretty viral on TikTok or maybe even Instagram itself. This little dress, the pink rose print one, it is stunning and I just really, really, really wanted to get it. So I did kind of stock the website for it coming back in stock. So if you are after it, just do that. Keep refreshing it, checking back because it did come back into stock for me. And um, one thing I noted about this dress, they actually had it written on the website saying that it is smaller made so this is a size medium and it is still quite small i would say particularly in the bust area there isn't <clears throat> there isn't much coverage so what i've kind of had to do is tie it quite tightly at the neck just so that it's not loose just that was a further like side note but i think this is the, the sweetest little dress and in the sale it was 12 pounds 50 so that is such a bargain it is like it is a short little dress. It's definitely, definitely size up, I would say. So I went for the medium, as I said, but it is so cute. I just love how it's kind of this like vintage floral print. It's so cute at the back. So it's basically all um, like crisscrossed straps, which looks so nice. Um, I'll show it to you on just to just to say what I'm talking about. Just just to explain what I'm talking about, about where it sits along here, because it is quite low I would say. One thing that's nice about it is that it is lined so it's got a nice little lining underneath which I just think that helps just give you that wee bit of a quality feel about it. You know I don't just feel like it's a very thin dress. Actually the material is nice. So I'll try it on and I will explain a wee bit more about how it fits. Okay so this is the dress on and as you can see what I mean so it actually sits really low and if you are larger in the chest I don't know if this dress is going to be right because I, I mean I do not have much going on there and this is so like low and just like there's like no room so what I was doing was really tightening the straps at the back so that it would so this is what I mean so like literally pulling them in and then you probably need someone else to help you just like tighten it just so you feel secure because it is quite an odd design and I I, I don't know like it's not perfect, but I just love, I love the print. I love the style. It is so cute. And the back, this is where I show off how bad my fake tan is, but this is how the back, I don't even know if I've done that right, but do you know what? It's so nice having the straps going across like that. This is the only thing I would say, it's actually annoyingly kind of loose down here, but I think there's no way I would fit in a small. So this is the wee dress. I'm gonna just step back to show it to you. So. It is quite short, but it's not, gosh, I feel like that looks so <laughs> exposed. Like I, I would definitely be tying it tighter so that it's, I'm gonna just do it again. So it's like that maybe, just to give you an idea of the length. So this is what it sits like. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not someone that often wears things that are really low, but I just do, I do like the style. So this is dress number one. Let me know what you think of it. Or did you get this dress too? Do you have any tips for how to wear it? I mean, what you also could do is obviously put like a little bit of tape just to absolutely secure it if you were worried about it. But see if you've got someone helping you, there's no one here, like Jack's not here to help me tie it properly. But I think just pull it really tight from the top and then work your way down. It's going to be really secure. It's just not for me at the minute. So don't let that put you off. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the next item. So this next wee dress, I kind of just threw in my basket when I was looking because it was giving me Blair Blair vibes at the white party. Like it's not like the style of dress she wears, but she wears another dress that has this style with like a flower at the neck. 
or maybe it's Serena that wears it. I actually think it's Serena. No, Blair. Do you know what? It's irrelevant. It was giving me Gossip Girl vibes and particularly the white party. So I haven't tried it on. I don't know how this is going to sit. It is quite crushed, so it definitely needs an iron, but I'm not going to iron it just like before I've decided what to do with it, like whether to keep it or not. It looks like it's got quite a glam bag, like this little thin strap going across. So yeah, let me try it on. I actually don't even know how this sits. So yeah, I will come back in a wee minute. Okay, so I'm really confused about this dress. I don't know how you're supposed to wear it. I've like put this just over me. Like there's no, I can't see where you're supposed to tie it. This, I'm confused. It doesn't look great because it's so crushed as well. It's really hard to tell. I actually thought this was in the middle, but then this doesn't split into, I thought maybe this split into two ties and then you tied it around your neck. I mean, I'll quickly see if I can pull up from the website. Okay, so on the website, this bit is in the middle. I'm going to show you the picture, but I don't know how... I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Like, bring this round? And then maybe round again? Oh my god. I don't think I feel secure in this dress, to be honest. And I don't feel like this actually suits me. I feel like I preferred it as a one shoulder. Oh well, I, I mean, I do like, I think that... Yeah, this has been a little bit of a fail, to be honest, so I'm just gonna move on. Like, see if it was to sit like that, like, I think that does look nice, but... Anyway, I'm just gonna introduce this next dress, which is very similar to the first one, it's kind of along the same line, so it's a little... I'm scared this is... I'm scared this is, like, slipping down. So it's a little rose print pattern dress. This one, this is a size small, and again, it does look really quite small. I haven't tried it on. I think I originally did have the medium in my basket and then it, it sold out. So I'm going to try it on. It, it does look as if it's going to be quite small made as well. But we'll see. Okay, so I actually really like this dress. I feel like the fit is way better than I thought it was going to be. It's, it's nice material and it's quite thick so it kind of actually holds a bit of shape. I love, love, love the print. It's so bright. Like hopefully it's going to come across on camera but it really like stands out. Um, yeah, I actually feel like this dress is slightly easier to wear rather than that first one because there is, I just feel like there's more coverage. It is quite, it is quite short and it is quite tight. Um, but I just quite like it and I think quite glam, particularly for these sunny days. Yeah, I'm happy with this one and I think, so, I think this one was down to £12.50 as well. I'll need to double check. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one. Let me know which one do you prefer, this one or the first one. So I'm gonna keep moving on because I've got a couple of sh la la la. A couple of cords I want to show you. It would not be Bubble Diaries haul if I did not mention a cord. So this one I really don't need. So I really should be sending it back, but it's it's you not know, it's not actually I think don't think it was officially listed as a cord. So if you are a true, true, true perfectionist to detail um I don't think they are like a, a like complete match however I think you could definitely wear it as a cord so it was this little skirt or oh, sorry you know it's a skirt uh, it's a really bright turquoisey blue I like the little chain detailing on it and then this little blazer jacket so I'm gonna hold them up together because I I don't know if you'll see a difference in the color to be honest I can't on camera there um, but you could sort of argue that the gold is slightly different so I'm just pointing out if you an eye for detail normally I am very detail orientated however in this regard I just thought you could definitely wear this as a cord it is similar to a blue one that I already have which I love but the price of this was so reasonable so it's like 12 pounds for the skirt and then maybe like 20 for the blazer I mean you couldn't go wrong with that really. So I'll pop it on. I did also feature quite a few of these. I did actually feature quite a few of these items on a recent reel on my Instagram. So um, if you wanted to see like what they look like on a different setting, you can see it over there. Um, so I'll try this one on. Oh, just to quickly see what size did I get? I think I went for a me no, it's a small in this and a medium in the skirt. Okay, so here's our little set on. Just to again comment on the color, there is a slight difference between the, the blazer and the skirt. I can see it when I look in the mirror. In different lighting there is 
a slight color difference. Just want to be fully transparent just in case you are looking at these items. I will have everything linked and if it's out of stock, I'll leave the product code so you can search for it if it comes back in. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is it on. Um, I would say the sizing of this one is definitely slightly more generous. So the small, like this is a small blazer and I feel like it is like fairly generous sizing. Same with the skirt, it's the medium and it is quite big. So it's kind of sitting a little bit lower, which is fine. I actually think it's a comfortable sort of fit. Like it gives me a little bit more length. Um, so this is the wee, <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm still having this like residual cough. Don't know what it is. Anyway, um, so it's, yeah, the difference with this one from my other one is that this is tweed. So it is slightly different. Uh, it's just the vibes that I like, isn't it? Gold buttons, it's very, it's giving me Jackie Kennedy. It's giving old money aesthetic, it's giving Chanel. What do we think? I like it. <laughs> that reminded me of um, Legally Blonde 2, is it? Paulette, and she's like, I really like her. Or <laughs> anyone who, if you have watched Legally Blonde 2, you're gonna know what I mean. Anyone that hasn't, it's gonna be like, what are you talking about? Anyway, so I'm going to keep moving on. So I have another wee cord to show you. This was a wild card. So I saw this in the sale and I thought, okay, it looks cute. So it's a little orange set. So this is the wee skirt. And then it's a little orange waistcoat. So I'd originally thought maybe I'd pop a wee blouse underneath this or like a polo neck in autumn. But it actually is so cute, even just on its own. So again, this was featured in my reel. So I'm going to pop this one on, come back. Uh, this is a small and I presume this is going to be a medium. Oh no, I got a small in the skirt as well actually. I'm getting all the size wrong today. So this is both a size small that I went for. How cute is this? I absolutely love it. I love the colour. It's so bright and fresh and it just, it's very cheery. I like the style. I just think it's really glam and cute and a little bit different. I, I can honestly say I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. So yeah, I was really happy with this one. It was a wild card. I threw it in my basket. Don't really know how it's going to fit, but I really like it. And I think there's a few things, like I said, you could do with it. You know, add layers, moving into autumn. I mean, this is definitely a look that I would wear with my white boots like I did in the reel, which I know it's probably a little bit too hot for it, particularly with this heat wave. But that is definitely how I would style it. So let me know your thoughts on this one. I was really happy with just the fit, the colour, the style. Really, really cute. This is the type of thing I think Zara just does so well. And... The quality is nice, it fits nicely. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. So I just have two last little items to show you which were kind of <clears throat> like little odds and ends just like popped in my basket. So the first was this little skirt here because there is a Zara blazer that I have. I'm going to show it to you. It's a pink blazer that I, I absolutely love but I have struggled to wear a little bit. So I kind of thought maybe I could get a wee skirt just to like pair with it. So it's just a very plain pink little skirt. What I'll do is I'll just include a little clip um, of me wearing it with the pink blazer on. This is a size medium. Again, it is quite generous, but I think, I don't know if the small had sold out, I can't remember. Um, I would probably say, <sighs> yeah, I would probably say you could go like a size down in this skirt. It is quite generous. So this is a pink little skirt and then this last little item just to show you and again I'll include a wee clip of it on which is a very simple, oops, it's a suede material just to go with some of my again blazers like just simple blazers just something to pair with them moving into autumn as well because I feel like suede is a material that can carry you through whereas I have a sort of I don't know what material it is, but it's quite light. It's definitely a summery material, uh, a Zara Scott. And it looks cute with blazers for just now, but I think moving into autumn, you maybe want something a little bit more, um, like just textured. So I just picked this up. I'll see how I get on with it. But that is really the end of my haul today. I don't think I have anything else to show you. So it really was a mixed bag between the sundresses and the cords. I do need to sit down and go through them and decide right, what am I keeping? I think that second floral dress is definitely standing out for me. I just like the fit of it. Um, I really like this too. The turquoise, I definitely don't need. So it's weighing up the price of it because it was a good price. Anyway, that is my haul today. Do let me know what was your favourite pieces. Did you order any of these pieces? Did you get anything else in the Zara sale? 
let me know. As always, thank you so much for watching. It really means the world to me. I'm hopefully back on track with my videos. I am, I think, going to London next week. I'm not 100% sure. So I will see how that goes. I might try and vlog it. Um, but maybe my update, uh, sorry, upload might be a little bit later next week, so maybe like Friday. I will let you know, obviously, I'll put it on my Instagram if I'm going to be late, but thank you so much for supporting me on this little channel, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!